should a bra fit for a plus size woman? Really, how should a bra fit for anyone, right? How do you determine, determine the right cup size? How do you figure out the right band size? How do you measure? And here's one you might not have thought about. How do you know what shape your boob is? That's what I'm talking about today. Today I'm talking all about finding the right bra for you and your boobies. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Nancy Basile with Plus Size Nerd. Plus Size Nerd is all about celebrating our curves and our fandoms. First of all, <laughs> I hope you can tell, this is my bra. I wanted to share that with you. Most of my adult life, I had quad boobs, but especially after I had children. I had the little mini boobs that squished out and sat on top of the regular boobs, the quad boobs. And every time I turned sideways and looked in the mirror, it just looked horrible. And I was always trying to like cover them up, but then it would slip out the bottom. Awful! At a time when I already wasn't feeling great about how I looked. So I found a boutique an hour-ish from me that truly had experts, not some old lady with a measuring tape in a department store. The boutique caters to women who've had mastectomies, who've had breast cancer. And so number one, they're super compassionate. So there was no judgment about anything, which as a plus size woman, I worry about that. Number two, boy, did they know what they were doing because it went way beyond just taking a tape measure around my rib cage and than around uh, my nipple circumference back thing there. When she figured out my exact size, that was the first step. The second step was she brought a whole array of bras in the same size, different brands, to figure out which one would fit the shape of my boob. So there's a whole lot going on in here. And I'm guessing most of the women walking around on this planet are wearing the wrong size, especially if you're a plus size woman. How to really find your right size? Well, first of all, most bra sizes are not available at the stores. And I'm betting that you have figured that out. You go to any bra section of a store. And if you're above a 38, and even 38's pushing it, or below uh, 32, 34, you're screwed. And God forbid you need a cup size above a double D. You can maybe find a triple D for years. I squished my boobies into triple Ds because that was as big as I could find. And then I went to this boutique as I was describing. I'm a 42H, people. H. You are not finding that at Macy's or Boscov's or Target or anywhere. So I buy all my bras on Amazon. That alone should tell you nobody knows what they're doing. Most people don't have the right bra size because bra fitters aren't reliable. They don't even carry the right size at the store that you're going to. We generally underestimate cup size and overestimate band size. If your band size is not small enough, you're going to be floppy. If it's tight enough, whoop, then you get the support. If you're having to reach in and, and lift them back up into the cup, your band size is too big. Cup size needs to be bigger to hold those puppies in. If you're squishing out in this area, your cup size is too small. And if at any point it's hurting you or when you take off your bra, you have red welts, you're wearing the wrong bra because the right bra, I don't even think about it. It's not uncomfortable at all. I, it's just there. It's like nothing. So the right way to measure yourself, first of all, get a measuring tape that's long enough because when you try to guess, you know, like it only reaches this far and you're trying to guess, mm -mm, not going to happen. Get a long enough tape measure because you are going to measure a couple of different things. Under your bust, you're going to get your band size. You are going to measure around your rib cage. And this is an article I got from the bra guide. So right under the boobage, you can do this with your bra on. That might help because it'll lift everything out of the way and then you can take it around your rib cage. It's really great if you can measure in front of a mirror because then you can see if, you know, look in the mirror and see if you're hitting the right spot because, again, most people overestimate their band size. If you can get two fingers under your, your band, meaning this way, you know, like, it's too big. You need a smaller band. After you take that measurement, 
round up to the next nearest even number um, because we all know <sighs> sizing is never individual. It's always got to be like every two, not every one. Don't add anything to that number <laughs> because, again, you don't want to overestimate the band size. You want that whoo, to be tight. Generally speaking, this will be your real band size. Then cup size is slightly trickier. This is when you take the bra off and you're going to be hanging free for this one. Sometimes they tell you to measure with your bra on. In this case, there's going to be a little mathematical formula, so you're not going to do it. So you take the tape measure around naked breasts at nipple level, wherever your nipples might be. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in a sec. Almost loose enough to fall down, not quite. So not quite as tight as when you're measuring your rib cage for the band size, but just like just a gentle, there it is. Subtract your underbust measurement from your band measurement. And then they have a chart. And again, this is how to measure your bra size. Link is in the description. So for instance, if there is an inch difference between this nip measurement and the rib cage measurement, then your cup size is a double A. If for instance, there's nine inches of difference between rib cage, nip, then you are an I. But that's how you get it. The difference between nip circumference and rib circumference. That's how you determine the cup size. So now we've got the band measurement and we've got the cup size. That's just the beginning though. It actually depends on the shape of your, of your boobies. When I got fitted for real, like it changed, first of all, it changed my life because I immediately got an ego boost and it gave me my waist back <laughs> because it got everything out of the way. I started wearing tighter things because I didn't have the quad boob thing going on. So once she figured out my measurements, she brought lots of brands for me to try on to see which one would fit the best for my breast shape. And it turned out to be way cold. So the first thing you're going to think about when it comes to boob shape is are you a top or a bottom? Meaning, are you fuller at the top or fuller at the bottom? That makes a difference. Then you're going to look at how shallow you are. If you're bottom heavy, you might be out from your rib cage further than someone else with the same amount of flesh because of your shape. You might also be wider. She, when she was measuring me, one of the things she said was that my breasts were, I think she said they were closer together than average. Although we all know there's not really an average when it comes to women's bodies. I mean, there's just not. So we had to find one that came close enough this way to, to get in between and separate. Because you want that separation. You don't want a, a uniboob going on where there's no separation and it just like flows from one to the other. We don't want that. One might be bigger than the other. I believe my right is bigger than my left. I think that's kind of normal. You know, one foot's bigger than the other, that kind of thing. There's bell-shaped. Rather than being round, it's more bell-shaped. You've got ones <laughs> where they face outward. Your nipples face outward. So your shape is more this way. Then you also have ones that are fuller at the bottom, like I said, and flatter at the top. And I'm guessing you already know this, but the older you get, the shape of your breasts change. So it's a good idea, whoever gives you that perfect fit bra every, I don't know, five to 10 years to get measured again. Just one of the many joys of life as a human. All of that goes into deciding which bra you should wear. What if you don't have a fantastic boutique like I do with experts who know everything there is to know about boobs and bras. I've got 10 brands in the description of bras that generally are really good for plus size women. Panache, Freya, Waycole, Chantel, Fantasy with an IE at the end, Le Mystère, Goddess. I used to wear Goddess bras um, when I was breastfeeding. I did not like them, but I was breastfeeding. So that could be part and parcel why I didn't like them. Um, and I was just guessing at what size to get. Curvy Kate, Elomi, and Cacique. 
I'm not super crazy about Lane Bryant's bras or Torrid's bras. Two reasons. See how wide this strap is? <laughs> I need a lot of support. There's a lot of architecture going on here. Picture the Hoover Dam being held back by spandex. If it didn't have this support and that underwire, what would that spandex be doing? It would not be a pretty picture, right? You might not like an underwire. I submit that it's because you're not wearing the right size. If it's hurting you, you are not wearing the right size. Underwires are what give you the shape, the lift. If you're going to wear something that's not underwire, it's going to have enough stitching and fabric there to be stiff. So you might as well be wearing one. If you don't have a boutique to go to, you're still really lost, how in the world are you gonna try on all these different bras if you walk into a department store and they don't even have more than four different sizes there? I highly, highly recommend the Amazon Prime Try Before You Buy Prime Wardrobe. Again, there's a link over here. It is an affiliate link. They make it crazy easy to buy a variety of things, including bras, try them out and ship them right back. And you can just keep doing it until you find the right one. And you need to pay attention to the factors that I've talked about in this video to find the right one. Start with one of those brands that I just mentioned, the 10 brands that are good for plus size women, and guess. Try a cup size larger because most of us are wearing a cup size that was, that's too small. That's why you're squishing out. Try one with a band smaller because that might make a difference too if you're not getting the support you need. This is going to take some time if you truly want to have a bra that fits you. But I submit it's not going to take any more time than it does for you to find the next TV show to binge watch or to decide which streaming service you want or the time you put into your cosplay costume or the amount of time you put into a bounding outfit. If you're willing to invest time in all of those things, be willing to invest time in this because it will change how you look, you will be comfortable, and you will feel good about how you look, which is huge, huge. So take some time, try the different bras from Amazon or find a boutique. If you have to drive an hour, I say it's worth it. If you have to drive two hours, take a friend, make a day. It's worth it because you will walk out knowing exactly which bra and you will be so surprised. Do you think I was going to walk out with a 42H? I didn't think I was going to walk out with, I didn't even know there was an H. And it's perfect. It's perfect. Take some time, figure out the right bra with all of those ideas. Links in the description to all the articles and all the brands and you can check out those images of the bra or the boob shapes to figure out which one you are and there's also a link to figure out which bra goes which with boob shape it's a big deal take some time figure it out invest in yourself you will be so thankful that you did